Hi. Hi. Can you hear me well? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's great to see you again today, Joseph. How are you today? I'm happy. You're happy today. Well, that's good to know. How about how's the weather? The weather is very, very hot. Oh, it's very, very hot there. Oh, here is super, super duper rainy. <laughs> because, yeah, because we have a typhoon now. Mm. And then the classes are, um, what do you call this one? Suspended already. Here, mm. tomorrow. Yeah, okay. So, um, how about, did you already eat your dinner? Yes. Oh, what did you eat for dinner? I ate bulgogi. Oh, bulgogi? Yes. Okay. Wow. And it's the a Korean tradition of food. Oh, traditional. Yeah, I know. That is yummy. I have tasted it yes. in my in some gypsals. And I like it so much. Yeah. Yes. And then um how about um you went to school today? Yeah. Yeah. What did you do? I I I what? I took a gym class. Oh, gym class. Wow, that's good. Oh, okay. So anyway, um are you now ready to have your lesson for tonight? Um teacher. Yeah. Um What is it? Oh. Okay, wait for a minute. I'll translate this too? Or the yeah. last? This too. Okay, wait, wait. Um... Mm, wait for a minute. I'll translate it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Korean school and then. Oh, wait. And then Turkish. Shikan. Shikan. Pew? Yeah. Ah, Korean school timeline. What is it? What about it? Uh, can you show, show me a picture for me? Ah, a picture. Okay, wait for a minute. Images. I'll show you. Here, schedule. Oh yeah. Um, oh, not that. Click. click. Yeah, Where? This. Uh, the pink one. Ah, uh, the pink one. Um. Do you can you see a one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, six, seven, two eight. Yeah, two eight. Um, in one class, two class, three class, for eight class there is. And it took 40 minutes for one class. Oh, and then? And then we also took a gym class at one or five class. Oh, wow, I see. I wonder how what this one says. Wait, let me just check. I want to see. Um, wait for a minute. This is your schedule? Um, mm, this is not, but it is almost the same. Oh, almost the same. Okay, you took what, what number gym class? 
One or five. One or five. Oh. Forty minutes each. Each. Yes. Oh, okay. This one is math, right? Yes. This one is math. This one is Korean. Oh, yeah. This is for like a grammar. It translated Korean. it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have this on my phone where I can translate anything on the screen. Okay. Okay. Okay, anyway, now ready? Yeah. Okay, now let's do your lesson. Oh, last time we didn't finish this one. Okay. Is this it? Yeah, DNA? Is this it? What what page are we in? Thirty six. Page of thirty six. Is it thirty six? Yeah. Yeah, it is thirty six. Okay. You can research DNA. Uh -huh. What else? Can you still remember? Oh yeah, you can read actually. And you can tell me. DNA sample. DNA sample? Yeah. And then? Two more. Learn about Distance and sector. Distance? Distance and sector. What line is that? Ah, distant ancestors. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, distant ancestors and last one. And... Demographic. Hmm. What is it? Um, research. Is this the one? Genographic project is the one that you say? Yeah. Yeah, okay. General graphic project. Oh, in your area? In your area, it says? Is it, is it general graphic? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, genographic um project. Okay, so what is the goal of the genographic project? In your end. Hmm? Hmm? Two. What is the goal of the genographic project? It is to find out. How humans have have came from? Have a came from? Okay. Have came from? Okay. What does a professional gen? Oh, this one. This one is not came from. All genographic where researchers are using advanced DNA analysis to find out to how find human out how humans have populated the earth. Yeah, populated the area. Oh. 
what does a professional genealogist do? Genealogist. What line is it where the gen genealogist is? Oh, here. Okay. Line 26. Okay. There is um, um, is to is to help people trace their family. Help people trace their family what? Family history, I guess. History. history. Got it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I did. Okay. So next, let's see the graphic organizers. Okay, ways to research your family history. What can your distance and set the uh, your your researching. Your recent generation. Okay. Your recent generations. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Research generations. How to do it? Is Submit a DNA sample such as birth, marriage, and death. No. Research official record. Yeah. This is birth, marriage, and death. Look in old newspapers. Submit a DNA sample using family day. Um, the internet research yeah. using family data and family. Testing DNA. You your distant ancestor. Uh Mm. Which part of your the which part of the world your ancestor came from? How humans have populated the earth? Submit a DNA sample to a DNA testing company for a month. Take part in a larger research project like the Jennifer approach. Very good. Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, finish? Yeah. Okay, next. Complete the summary using the hints. Many people want, want to find out their There, what? Previous generation. Uh -huh. If they who they are related to. They want to know that their ancestors What? Didn't found it? Didn't find it? No. Okay. Can you give me a hint? Hmm? Can you give me a hint? Okay, let's see. Okay, previous generations. Mm, ancestors. Why is it letter A? Right? Oh. Is it letter A there? Mm, no. Oh, what's the letter there? A. A, you see? Is it A? Oh. Is it this one? Ah, uh, accomplished. Yeah. Were they, were, what they look for, and where they live to do this. They are two ways to trace your ancestry. The first one tells you about recent generation. Wow. <clears throat> you can look up official records or street. Search through old newspaper. A professional. 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 So what's your letter G? Can you graph it? No. <laughs> genealogist? Yeah, genealogist. Where is it again? What's the spelling of the... A genealogist. Mm -hmm. Can also help find information. Another method is detailed information. Ah, 
DNA testing. Yeah. DNA testing. A DNA sample can research information. Research information about the distance. Is it research? Research information? Yeah, it is. Okay. Information about your distance is that you can find out which part of the world your family came from. Oh, is it not research? That's why I'm asking you. Yeah, reveal. 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 Mm -hmm. Reveal. Okay. Good. Okay. Since um we're already done, let's move to your next lesson. Okay. 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 Uh, why today I'm I'm so sleepy. Hmm. Um. Do you know that when I woke up and woke up and and when I have to go to school. I'm very, very sleepy. Why? And I, and I was thinking at school that I must sleep uh, at least 30 minutes when I come back home. Uh, did you so, sleep go back? So I went to, went to home. Uh -huh. Not sleepy. And then you're having class and then you're sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> when I finish this class, um there's there's a angel give um affect me a um, magic that that clear my head sleepy. <laughs> I see. Okay, it's okay though. Okay. So oh next. Let's have technology in. What, what is it? Our next lesson? What? Oh, should we proceed with the next lesson? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. So maybe we will not go on to the story. Let's just do this one up until this. Okay? Mm. Okay. Okay. So technology in a, and? Technology in art. Archaeology. Archaeology. Okay, very good. So that's technology and archaeology. Before you read, let's check true or false. Okay, archaeology is the study of the past by looking for ancient remains. Ancient remains. Mm -hmm. Do you know what ancient remains are? True. True, that is true. Then we can understand how people lived in the past through archaeology. Is that true? True. True. That is true too. Okay. Let's do this one. And do you know I have a coin that mm -hmm. made one one hundred years before? Wow. What kind of coin is that? Uh, um, Korean coin. Korean coin. Oh, wow. That's good. I, mean, I think it is not, but I don't know. Mm, okay, okay, I see. Okay. All next. All to this one. Yes. Okay. Can you please read the following words here? Okay. Archaeology. Remove. Around prehistory, prehistoric, prehistory, remote, invisible, satellite, estimate, furry, enclosure, enclosure, enclosure. Very good. Okay, next. So it is to place something on the ground. Um, furry. 
spurry. Very good. That is spurry. Next. Not able to be seen. Invisible. Not invisible. To take something away from an object or place. Remove. Remove. Relating to the period before people could write. Before people could write. Prehistoric. Yeah, prehistoric. Okay. To be on every side of someone or something. Surround. Very good. Far away. Far away. Enclosed. Huh? Enclosed. Enclosed. Enclosure. Wait. Enclosure. Wait, 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 wait. Close means close and in means on. Uh -huh. So it is meaning not close. Okay, okay then. No, you're good. An area that is surrounded by a wall, fence, etc. I think it's not really enclosure. What do you think of Emergency. seven? Enclosure. N doesn't mean not. Ah. So seven is enclosure. Yeah, seven is enclosure. Let's just skip six. If you want. Okay, let me this just... far away is... Okay, wait. Let me just check which one is done already. Um, remove. Oh, we have... Someone who studies the bones, tools, etc. of ancient people, archaeologists. Yeah. To guess the cost, size of or value of the estimate. Mm -hmm, that is estimate. Oh, we only have two. Mm -hmm. Oh, far okay. away. A machine sent up into oh. space to move around the world, the moon or planet. Satellite. 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 Far away, remote. Yeah, that is remote. It Why is it remote. remote? Why is it called remote? Remote. For example, the TV is far away from you, but you can't um, access it, right? Um, okay. Got it. Like, for example, this one is a remote setup. Why re we have remote setup because we're far away from each other but okay. we can still talk right yeah. got it okay that is a remote okay so let's choose the best words to fill in the blanks imagine taken from um in Satellite revolve or satellite. satellite. The castle is surrounded by beautiful gardens and woods. Very good. The soap will remove the stain. On your shirt. 
Mm -hmm. Very good. Fine dust is invisible to the human eye mm -hmm. and can be very harmful to you. Yeah, that is very good. Okay. Do you want to read this or should we do this the next time? We only what? have... Do you want to read this? Okay. Okay. So technology <laughs> and... Okay. Okay, dokie. Technology and archaeology. Hmm. For 10th century, archaeology have been making exciting discoveries at the site of ancient civilization around the world. In the past, the cool tools they used to work with were quite simple and traditional. Shovels, brushes, and buckets scented would use only the tools at a deep site to careful and remove the first surrounding ancient remains. Today, thanks to the technological development, archaeologists were able to use powerful blue cloth to do their job. A team of archaeologists in England has spent the last five years creating an underground map of the area around Stonehenge. They hope to discover more about the spread historic money. The new remote sensing technology can scan the ground to a depth of about three meters. These scans can revolve objects along the surface that are invisible to the naked eye. Naked eye. The scientists use, use new tools such as a magnetometer, a ground penetrating radar, and a 3D laser scanner. During the project, they use satellite imaging aerial photography to complete their research. The team estimates that they have found evidence of up to 100 previously unknown standing stones. However, they believe that there may be even more waiting to be discovered. 30 or 40 of them still buried Bennett, Bennett the first thing. They need so you need to search the so called super hand is about two miles, three kilometers away from the world-famous site of Stone. It seems to, to form part of a circular enclosure around the part of Stonehenge that we knew of. Our challenge is to believe that the three that five meter tall stones were pushed over deliberately and covered with soil. Nobody knows why. Scientists also think that they have found evidence of nerve nearby water sources, including a dry riverbed. They want to understand how these water sources played a part in the creation of Stonehenge. Professor Vince Gaffney of the University of Bradford, a leading archaeologist on the project said, it's truly remarkable. We don't think there's anything quite like this anywhere else in the world. The use of new technology allows archaeologists to build a better understanding of the past. Okay, very good. So guess what? In 1903, Julius Neubronner invented a lightweight camera, not a heavy, not so heavy camera, that could be attached to carrier pigeons. The camera used a timer device to snap pictures from the air while the pigeons were in flight. 
a very early version of aerial photography. Ah, that is 1903. Oh, okay. So let's find out. Let's find and circle the words. Okay. And the well organized and developed societies. Societies. Civilization. Very good. Civilizations. Right, 14. Not able to feed. Invisible. Mm hmm. And 15. Without the use of a telescope, microscope, etc. Without naked eye. Naked eye. Naked eye. Sign 20. Taken or seen from an airplane. Aerial photography. Aerial photography. Taken or seen from an airplane, yeah. And line 21, to guess the cost size of or value of something. Estimate. Hmm? 21? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Estimate, estimate. Line 32, in a way that is meant or planned. That is meant or planned. Deliberately. They want it to. Yeah. Okay. okay. Very good. And then, do you have anything to share, or you want to answer this one? Oh. Uh, or you want to share something? Oh wait. Okay. Mm, mm, go. What is that? A stone hinge is little same as. It's the Korean, 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 this one? Oh, oh, this is to, is to pray the dead king. Ah, this is where, like, you pray for the dead king. Is, is that it? Yeah, it's many in Korea. Oh. There's a lot of them. Okay, 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 I got it. What do you do here? Like, just pray or something? Um, to see and take pictures here. Ah. But in the past, they pray and lay to, to the dead king under this rock. Wait, is he, like buried here yeah oh i get it why is it a um, big stone because it it is to show that the king king is it king Sejo? is bigger than other people oh okay is it like king sejong is it oh um, maybe Sejong? maybe but do you know that the brutal story of this rock is what? It is the, when the king died and to bury in the rock, the, the more people alive have to be buried alive in there with the dead king. Why? To bring the king. Just crazy. Like there were they were buried alive. Yeah, this is the king, the king, and the six other people. And what are the those king six is other dead. People? King is dead, and three girls and two men have to be buried or or alive with him. Who are those people? I don't know, just a random people. And like five um mini mini many more catch a tidy little and me. <laughs> oh no I thought it's like the guards of the king. Um, yeah. why is it some random people? It is just our country was crazy. Oh <laughs> okay.
<laughs> okay, I got it. Well, anyway, thank you for sharing that. I got to get to uh, know about South South Korea, right? And um, yeah, yeah. Um, this oh, is in, in the past, North Korea and South Korea was one. Only one. Uh, in King Sejong's time, it's only one. Yeah, yeah, and two was uh, having a great time. But the China come okay. and attack and kidnap. Kidnap? <laughs> Hello?